Welcome to Charleston Parents Connect. I am Danica Todd, your certified doula, licensed massage therapist, and certified yoga and Pilates instructor. It is my intention through sharing content and creating community to transform your relationships, inspire connection, and lead communities to live unapologetically. For this week's Throwback Thursday, I'm going to read out loud my blog for Charleston Birth Doula under the title, Guess What Your Birth Provider Isn't Telling You? And there's seven questions you can ask at your next prenatal visit. There is something that birth providers don't want you to figure out, that comfort and safety are not actually synonymous. Just because something makes you feel uncomfortable doesn't mean that it actually isn't safe. For an example, I often hear at a prenatal visit is, I don't feel comfortable with you going past blank. 40 weeks, 41 weeks, not being comfortable having to go past anything before 42 weeks is not the same thing as not being safe. Pay close attention to their words. Are they saying it isn't safe because there's evidence in your pregnancy, like gestational diabetes or high blood pressure? Or are they saying they are not comfortable? To help explain the difference, I've looked up both definitions online um, on the Merriam-Webster Dictionary. So comfortable means affording or enjoying contentment and security. And then we have safety, <clears throat> the condition of being safe from undergoing or causing hurt, injury, or loss. So pay attention to their body language and subtle nuances. Notice both what they're saying along with what they're not saying. If you're at a prenatal appointment, you also have time to go home and do your own research. Remember, if you're going to be an informed patient, you need to actually be informed. This means finding current, scientific, evidence-based research, not just parroting your favorite blog, unless they link to scientific sites as their sources. If you're going in and questioning everything, but you're not doing your own research to justify why you're pushing up against status quo, you're not going to be taken seriously. If you walk in saying crunchy mama 9134687 said XYZ, they're not going to consider you informed. If you walk in and you say that you read XYZ on ACOG's website, they're more likely to respect what you have to say. Even if XYZ is in the same is the same information on both websites. One way to become more informed about birth and to navigate the comfort level to safety level conundrum is to ask questions during your prenatal appointments. So here are seven questions that you can ask at your next doctor's visit to navigate through this process. So number one, what would happen if we delay for an hour, a week, etc.? What would happen if we don't do X, Y, Z? What alternatives can you suggest? Can you provide evidence for this reasoning? Would you follow this recommendation yourself? Would you recommend your own family member do this? And finally, have you had an experience where the negative impact has happened in your practice? And so this list isn't meant to be comprehensive. It's a starting point to engage in a dialogue about your birth experience. So what questions have you found helpful while navigating a birth plan with your provider? I hope you enjoyed this week's throwback. Don't forget to subscribe now so you won't miss any new information. And I look forward to seeing you in the free Facebook group. I hope you are having a wonderful day. See you soon.